Gold Coast this morning to the news that Mark Richardson wouldn't be part of these games. It means the 400 metre men must now rethink their relay. You know, his shoes need to be filled by somebody and I think, you know, Sean and J Jamie hopefully are going to do worthy jobs and, and do that, but it, it is going to be hard to, you know, to replace Mark and, I, and you know, I, my heart is out for him, I do feel for him. Jamie Bolch then is now the senior man and his experience will be vital. A role he should be able to play excellently. But he was slightly disappointing at the press conference this morning, filled once more by the paranoia from his coach, Linford Christie. Yeah, well, basically, I'm not going to talk about Mark now because, um, you know, obviously, with the Linford issue, with the Mark issue, you know, being in Linford's group has just been, you know, I think you've got to chat to Mark about it. Luckily enough, there was another young man who's made such an outstanding impression since the British trials who did want to talk about it. The whole situation is crazy, the way it's just dragged out. I think they should have just made a decision and said, yep, yeah, you get we no, you're not, you're innocent, and you could get on and run. Um, to miss the Olympics, he missed it four years, well, he went four years ago, but um, he had a virus, so he's never run an individual at a 400, so maybe in four years' time. But, um, yeah, it's really awkward. I wouldn't n never like to be in that position. Sean's looking for position number one, and not just on the track. singers in the world but it's just basically a good fun and it's for charity as well it's for it's called the AYF and the Athletic Youth Foundation so it's for grassroots athletes so hopefully they can inspire and come as high as we can and get to the Olympics forget the standard of singing the sentiment is absolutely right after a difficult week British athletics is looking to keep on running the right way to Sydney and the Olympic Games Mark Saggers Sky News on Australia's Gold Coast in Sydney, thousands more competitors have been arriving for the Games and rehearsals have been continuing, some more successfully than others. When they promised the most spectacular Games ever, they hadn't planned that the opening ceremony fireworks, rehearsed last night, would also set the nearby parkland on fire. The ceremony also started an hour and a half late, but those who were there were impressed. This is the true Australian event. It was fantastic. Oh, whatever you do, don't miss the next Friday night. Awesome show. More rehearsals for next weekend's triathlon. Running, cycling and swimming, for which the competitors in Sydney Harbour will have the reassurance of anti-shark divers.